The Nokia 8 is the first Nokia phone I've been excited about since HMD took over the name. The Nokia 3, 5, and 6 are all budget offerings that feel severely underpowered, but the Nokia 8 is an actual flagship with features to match. If you've been longing for a Nokia flagship running Android since the Lumia, then this is as close as you will get. Like every other smartphone company these days, Nokia is pushing the Nokia 8s camera as a key selling point. And to be honest, any high-end phone with a price tag to match really needs to have fantastic optics to compete in today's market. The phone has three cameras, two on the back and one on the front. They all boast 13 megapixel sensors and have been co-engineered by Zeiss. As with the Huawei IP10, one of the rear cameras takes monochrome pictures and, according to Nokia, will help enhance low-light performance. I'm not entirely convinced this is the case, as the P10 is still one of the worst flagships in dim light. I snapped a few pictures looking out over the Thames and the camera felt fast and autofocus was accurate, but I wasn't completely convinced by the results. Colors were strong and vibrant, but the pictures lacked the depth you get from competing flagships, such as the Google Pixel and HTC U11. I'll need a lot more time with the phone to really see how it deals with differing conditions though. Nokia's approach to the camera is also full of odd gimmicks that feel out of place for a brand which pitches its Android devices as being completely free of needless extras. There's a dual sight mode that snaps a picture with both the front and rear cameras simultaneously, for example. Samsung and LG have tried and failed with similar features before, and I still can't think of a single situation where a dual sight mode would be useful. It doesn't help that Nokia is calling the selfie mode Bothe. Sai. Live streaming straight from the app to social networks is another gem Nokia has dredged up from the sea of pointless camera additions. The only bonus over using the app's built-in streaming functionality is that the Ozo audio codec is supported. This means your streams will come across in a form of surround sound thanks to the phone's three microphones. I didn't have a chance to really try this, but better audio is always appreciated. Gimmicks aside, there is a lot to like about the Nokia A. It's easily the nicest looking and feeling HMD Nokia phone yet, with sloping sides and an aluminium back that I initially mistook for plastic. It's thin and light, and as it only packs a 5.3 inch display it doesn't quite feel as big as the HTC U11 or OnePlus 5. Nokia is also shipping it in both matte and glossy colors, so you don't have to put up with a fingerprint magnet if you don't want to. The shiny copper instantly stood out as my favorite color, but the matte blue is slick and a lot more subtle.